Hi, pen fans. This is your personal pen maker, Brian at the Edison Pen Company, edisonpen.com. I hope that everybody's doing really well. Hey, I am very happy to be introducing a new model to our signature line. Um, this model will be called the Jameson, and it's going to be built around a number eight nib. Um, when we introduced the Collier Grande a while back, since then, it has been the most popular model within our signature line. And I think a lot of that is driven based on this very cool and very large number eight nib. So it just made sense for us to kind of expand our uh, offerings with another number eight nib. Uh, and uh, this pen will be, the Collier Grande is a pretty big pen. And I think people really like that, but we're going to scale this down a little bit, about as much as I possibly could considering the nib. And this will be a medium sized pen, uh, a flat top, and there's going to be a lot of design elements within this model that we've never done before. So uh, let's have a look at some photos. This is the Jameson. Okay, so this is the Jameson. There's a few things here that we have never done before. One is this is an entirely new clip design that we've never used in the past. We have never made a non-captured center band before. And by that, what that means is, you know, on the, this is a Beaumont. And what we have is this is a cap lip. And this is the cap. And the center band is captured between these two components. In the Jameson, we decided to basically forego the cap lip and essentially the band becomes the cap lip. Uh, this is machined from solid brass and then we have it plated. And uh, it's the, the design element that I've wanted to do for a while and I think it works really well. Um, the uh, pen, this is, I'm a, I'm a guy that's, uh, I'm 5'11" normal stature, normal size hands for a guy my size. This pen fits wonderfully in my hand uh, without any problems at all. Um, it does post very deep and very nicely, however. So for someone that has even larger hands than me or that prefer to post their pens, this does post very well and very secure. Okay, so let's discuss a bit about what I had in mind when designing this pen. This pen really uh, started with the way that I wanted to highlight the nib. The, in my opinion, fountain pen nibs are the most beautiful component of the fountain pen. Um, they are unique, they are aesthetically amazing, they look great, and they're just beautiful. So some of my designs, I like to do my best to make the nib look proportionally uh, larger compared to the rest of the pen. And this number eight nib is already a really big nib. So by engineering a barrel and a cap around this nib and making them about as thin and small as I could, it really makes that nib stick out and look like it's huge and it, and it draws your eye, I believe, um, better than a proportionately larger pen. One thing that really bothers me, and we don't have any designs like this, but every so often I see a fountain pen that is really huge. It's a big fountain pen, and then this little dinky tiny nib sticks out the front. And personally, I don't like that. Uh, I like to do the exact opposite. I like to take the coolest part of the pen, which is the nib, and really make it look larger than what it actually is proportionate to the rest of the pen. And then this idea of making the the nib proportionally larger, oh, sorry, proportionally larger visually to the rest of the pen, really the, the pen that I did this the most with prior to the Jameson is the Beaumont. So same idea. The Beaumont in relation to the nib is about as thin as I could have made it because that's the idea. I wanted to make the nib look larger. But as a result, because this is a number six nib, overall the Beaumont is a smaller pen, you know. Um, but with the Jameson being a number eight nib, it kind of accomplishes the same visual aesthetics as the Beaumont, 
but now we're getting into a medium sized package, which I think is uh, really, really neat. So a few more design elements. One thing that I also like to do is visually, this doesn't look like a really big pen. It's certainly medium sized. Here it is next to a normal Collier. And then here it is next to a Collier Grande. And of course, this is gonna be a pretty large pen in comparison. But uh, what I like to do oftentimes with some of my designs is make a pen that um, visually doesn't look that big, but then when you, when, when you unscrew the barrel and reveal what's in that cap, there's a lot that is hidden in that cap. I engineered this cap to be about as short as I possibly could so that it is kind of hiding a lot inside. And this brings me to one unique item. This is the longest section that we've ever made. It's really much longer than any other section that we've done. This is next to, so this is the section length next to a Collier Grande. Quite a difference. And pretty much all of our other sections are gonna be in that same length range as the Collier Grande. So I think that we've had people in the past that have commented that, man, I'd really like to have a little bit more area for my fingers on the section, and this pen will definitely fit the bill for that. Now, as far as getting into exact specifications, I will put a, like a slide up that will list all of these dimensions, but I'll go through them quickly as well. The weight of the pen is 25 grams. Uh, it's on the lighter side for sure. Edison pens in general are going to be lighter. Um, uh, that's just a pretty good general statement to make about all of our designs. The length capped is five and a half inches. Um, the posted length from the end of the cap to the tip of the nib is six and three eighths inches. The body length to the tip, so from here to here, is five and one eighths inches. The body diameter at the cap edge, so right here, is 0 0.530. The cap diameter at this location is 0 0.660. The section diameter at the narrowest point is 0.465. And then the section length is 1.050 inches. And like I said, I'll put a slide up and I know that a lot of people would rather hear this in metric anyway, so I'll have the metric conversions on that slide as well. And now I'll give a comparison of this new Jameson next to some other Edison pens that are probably pretty well known. Um, I'm, of course, this will garner comparisons to the Beaumont. It's a flat top. It has a center band, so there are definitely some design elements that are similar with this. Um, but overall, since I took a very similar approach to the Beaumont of basing the size of the pen on the nib and keeping it about as small as I could, this is what the result is of doing that with a number six nib, and this is the result of doing that with a number eight nib. So I would call this design small in the general sense of fountain pens and this design medium. Um, here it is with the cap removed. And now let's have a look at the pen next to a comet. Next to a Menlo. next to a normal size Collier, and then next to a Collier Grande. And now here is a view of all of these pens with the caps removed. And I think one thing that is nice to illustrate is that design element that I discussed where I want to have a lot of the barrel hidden inside the cap on the Jameson. So if I get these caps out of the equation and you take a look at the lengths of these barrels and the size of these barrels, I think you can see that even though 
the Jameson kind of looks like a medium-sized pen when it's, um, when it's capped, it actually is larger than a lot of our pens that I would consider to be medium or even on the larger size like the Collier. Now, of course, the Collier Grande is a pretty big one, but I think it's interesting that when capped, the Jameson doesn't look like it's really larger than other pens that would be in that similar range, but then when the cap is off and you get to view the barrel and how much of the pen is hidden inside the cap, it's kind of a neat effect. Okay, I think that that covers all of the design details of the Jameson. Um, please let me know your thoughts on this design. Uh, I'm very happy to be introducing this new one. Um, we never like to launch a new model without having plenty of pens already made for our current inventory so that nobody will have to wait if they don't want to through our custom order queue. So as of right now, there's well more than 40 Jamesons that are inventoried and ready to ship. Wherever you're watching this, I'll be sure to include a link to our current inventory gallery so that you can see exactly those pens. And if nothing there appeals, then of course we can always take a custom order for a Jameson. Um, pricing, the, the Jameson will be $325 with a steel nib. That's the same pricing as the Collier Grande. A little bit higher than what we ask for in our pens that take a number 6 nib, but of course that extra cost, the number 8 nibs come to us a lot more expensive than what the number 6 nibs do. So um, I think that's everything. Please reach out to me with any questions or comments. I'd love to hear your feedback on this pen. And I think that covers it all. Thank you so much.